The sheer range of work on this project was complete lunacy and required bringing together so many different production elements. For the main climax of the music video, we were tasked with creating a city environment in a Neo-Tokyo style reminiscent of a graphic novel, while also maintaining a high enough level of photoreal detail to match live action plates. The entire city needed to be visible from an aerial point of view for establishing shots, as well as at street level for shots zoomed in on the action. In conjunction with this, we also needed to develop the hero game characters and enemy opponents, which required both digital head replacements for live actors and creating fully CG characters. The characters were designed in the same graphic novel style as the cityscape, with enough detail and realism for seamless integration into the CG environments and live action plates. The characters also needed to emit smoke, fire, electricity, and even crystals when fired up. Additionally, we were tasked with creating CG monster trucks, explosions, mopeds that morphed into stylistic hyperbikes, rockets, grenades, crowds of charging enemies, disintegrating characters, collapsing buildings and environment destruction, parachuting, abseiling, and, of course, a healthy amount of dancing. The first step was conceptualization to flesh out the overall feel and style of the cinematic world, in addition to the development of the hero characters. For the characters, we needed to figure out how to make the stylized heads work with live action and CG bodies, as well as with live action plates and digital environments. For the environments, our focus was on achieving a graphic novel style while still retaining a perfect arena to place our game characters and live action actors for the epic battle sequence finale. We were able to use existing assets for some of the game characters, which were simultaneously in development at Garena. While this was a starting point, we needed to rebuild the models and shaders to suit the level of detail and realism of our production. The challenge here was that the character designs were still in development and changing as we were in the process of building our models. For the cityscape environments, we used Kitbash 3D Premium Model Kits to flesh out the streets, alleyways, and buildings, which enabled us to quickly create the scenes that we needed. This allowed us to focus on the visual aspects of the style, and then, ultimately, on the detailing needed once we put in our cameras.